Hello everybody, welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. In this video, I'll demonstrate some key features of BricsCAD software which is not available in AutoCAD. BricsCAD is a modern cost-effective CAD solution. These features will help you save a lot of time and effort. So let's dive into the video. Let's start with AutoCAD. This is a family house plan. Suppose if you want to move this table towards this wall, you have to select the table first, right click and click on the move command. I'll choose the base point here and keep the cursor in the downward direction and I'll type a distance of say 15 units. Give enter. Let's repeat the same task in BricsCAD. I'll select the wall line and the table now you can see the current distance separating the wall line and the table as 15 units and you will also see an arrow. Now I'll type a distance of 0 because I want to move this table towards the wall line so that these two edges will touch each other. So I'll give the value 0 for the distance and give enter. Now you can see that the edge of the table will get moved towards the edge of the wall because the arrow was pointed towards the edge of the table. This feature is called the nearest distance feature which is a smart feature using which you can save time. Next we will see the procedure to change half of this edge into a curvular shape. For that I'll start with pedit command because this rectangle is a polyline. I'll give PE for pedit. Select the rectangle then I'll click on edit vertex option. Now you can see a cross marker in the starting vertex. I'll give enter to take the cross marker to the required location. I took it over here. Next I'll click on insert and I'll insert a vertex right at the middle. Now you can see the cross marker over here because we have a vertex here. Then I'll click on exit to exit the edit vertex options. Then I'll give enter to exit the pedit command. Next I'll select this rectangle by picking. Now you can see square grips at the vertex locations. I'll take the cursor onto this grip which is a mid grip and click on convert to arc and take the cursor onto this location and you have converted half of this edge into a curvular shape. Let's try to accomplish the same result using BricsCAD. In BricsCAD there is a hotkey assistant option which is a unique feature. Using this option you can select entities in sub-object levels. If I take the cursor onto this rectangle you can see that the entire entity will get selected and you can see the hotkey assistant at the bottom. Now if I hold on the control key I can switch over to the sub selection mode and here using the quad you can insert a vertex. I'll insert a vertex right at the middle. Now I'll take the cursor onto this entity and I have an option to adjust the bulge here. So in BricsCAD you can accomplish the same result with less keystrokes and mouse movements because we have hotkey assistant in BricsCAD. In AutoCAD, when you take the cursor onto an object, you will get an interface popping up on the screen wherein you can see the properties. In this case, you can see that the object is a circle and its color is shown, layer and line type is also shown. But you can only see these properties and these properties cannot be edited using this interface. Whereas in BricsCAD, if you hover the cursor on an entity, you will get a similar interface and this interface shows the properties as well as parameters related with that entity. For example, in this case, you can see that it's a circle and its color is 21. If you want, you can change the color to a different color or you can change its layer. You can change the radius of the circle. I'll change the radius of the circle from 16 to 20. And you can also change the area if required. And this interface is called Rollover Tips in BricsCAD, using which you can quickly and easily change the properties and parameters related with an entity. If you want to do the same task in AutoCAD, you have to first select the object, click on the color pop up in the properties panel to change the color, and to change the layer, we have to click on the layer pop up in the layers panel. That means more procedure and mouse movements is required. 
In AutoCAD, I would like to do some modifications on this profile. I'll start with the offset command and I'll give an offset distance of 5 units. Then I'll select object and side to offset. Next, I would like to fill this inside portion with a hash pattern. For that, I'll give hatch command. Then I'll pick a point inside. Now I have the hatch creation panel. I'll change the scale from 1 to 10. I'll click on Close Hatch Editor. Let's repeat the same procedure in BricsCAD. I'll start with Offset command. For that, I'll take the cursor onto the profile. And here, when I hover the cursor, you've got a context sensitive menu. And this menu is called the Quad Cursor menu in BricsCAD. Or in short, it is called Quad. Quad displays list of all commands that is applicable to this entity by category. Now we have a number of categories. Now if I take the cursor onto the modify category, I can erase this object, I can move it, then I can copy it and do a number of editing operations on it. I'll take the cursor onto the draw category. Here I can see the offset command. Now I'll keep the cursor inside. Now I'm asked to give the offset distance, I'll type 5. It is offsetted. Next I'll take the cursor onto this particular area. You can see that this boundary is automatically identified because the boundary detection option is active in the standard toolbar. Now I'll hover the cursor onto the draw category. Here I have an option to perform hatch. Next I'll select the hatch, go to properties panel and change the scale from 1 to 10. Hence quad cursor is a unique feature of BricsCAD which will help you multitask and save time. Now I'll go back to AutoCAD. I'll move this chair from this location to this location and I'll keep it facing the table. For that I'll execute move command. I'll select the chair. I'll pick the base point over here and I'll keep the second point over here. Then I'll give rotate command. Select the chair. I'll pick the base point somewhere over here. I'll activate ortho mode and I'll pick a point right on top to fix the angle as 90 degrees. Next, I'll mirror this chair onto this location using the mirror command. I'll choose this mid as the base point. I'll keep the cursor in the upward direction and I'll pick a point right on top which will define a vertical axis since the ortho mode is on. And I'll give an enter. Now I feel like I want to undo the move and rotate commands which is given for this chair. But at the same time, I want to retain this particular chair and I don't want to undo the mirror command. If we use normal undo, this will undo everything because in AutoCAD, undo is applicable to all entities. Let's try that undo. I'll click on undo command several times and I can undo the move and the rotate commands which is given for this chair. But in the process, I'll lose this chair because the mirror command is also undone. Let's repeat the same task using BricsCAD. Then I'll go to modify in the quad menu and choose move command and pick the base point over here. I'll turn the ortho mode off and I'll pick the second point over here. Next I'll click on rotate, select this chair and I'll give a rotation angle of 90 degrees. Next I'll select the chair. I'll choose mirror from the modify category of quad menu and I'll pick this midpoint as a base point. Turn the ortho mode on and keep the cursor in the upward direction and give an enter. Next, I want to undo the move and the rotate commands which are given to this chair. In BricsCAD, we have a history based undo using which you can perform undo for a specific entity. Now I'll perform undo only for this particular chair. So I've selected this chair and I'll click on the properties panel. Over here, you can see a history option. Just click on that you will get a pop-up and you can click on undo step 1 or undo step 2 and you will see the corresponding previews. Now I'll click on undo 2 steps. Hence I have accomplished the task of move and rotate commands without undoing the mirror command using history based undo which is a very useful feature in BricsCAD. Hope this video was informative. Until I catch you with another key feature video of BricsCAD. Bye band take care. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir Cat if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads.
Thank you so much for your time. Start your free 30-day trial of BricsCAD now and experience these features. Download link provided at the description section of this video.